What's going on, everybody? Z here. Welcome back to some more Satisfactory. So if you guys are just joining us for the very first time, we have gotten our hub uh, upgraded to level four. We're currently working on hub upgrade five. We have some smelting action going on. We have some mining action going on now. This is only the third episode, and it might look like we've done a lot. Uh, we kind of have, but once you kind of figure out what you're doing, it doesn't take too long to get to this point. So what are we doing this episode? Well, we're going to try getting our iron stuff like finished up, get everything connected, start producing uh, all of the iron goods. And then we're also going to start producing the copper goods as well, because this guy right here is backed up currently, so it's not doing anything. But uh, yeah, so if you guys enjoy it, definitely leave a like, subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, yes, also links to all the social stuff is down below. If you guys want to catch us on Twitch, on Twitter, Instagram, anything like that, all the links are down below. Also, um, a link to the game download is down below as well. So if you guys are interested in the game, want to check it out, link down below takes you to the Epic Game Store and uh, yeah, supports out, supports out creators like me. So uh, thank you guys for so much for, for doing that. But uh, okay, cool. Uh, now, one thing I did realize after I was running around, I was collecting some stuff. Uh, there's limestone right here. There, well, there's stone. There's stone right here. <laughs> there's stone right here. Two things of it. Two things of stone right here that we could have uh, we could have built off of, but we did that one far, far down there, which is fine. It's fine. It's not gonna it's not gonna make a difference because the only thing that that's gonna make is concrete. And I'm actually thinking about once we start doing the warehouses and start building walls and stuff, I'm gonna make that its own little concrete factory. And this is going to, you know, export uh, just concrete out here to the rest of the base. So I mean, that's pretty much it. That's pretty much it. But uh, yeah. OK, so we need to get this thing going because it's full of copper, absolutely full of copper. And it needs to start. It needs to start doing this thing. So what I'm going to do here is I think we're actually going to throw a storage in here. And the reason I'm going to do a storage thing is because currently this is my this is my only copper source right now. So this one eventually is going to be uh, we're going to use a conveyor splitters once we get into those and it's going to be a, a main a main source of copper. Uh, copper goods don't typically take too long to uh, to make the wire and all that fun stuff. So we're just going to have that go into there and they'll probably get a constructor going as well. I think I think we'll do that as well. Might as well. Might as well start turning this into wire. Why not? Um, do, 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 do. Production. Constructor. Perfect. Have just enough. All right. Get as close as I can. A Dunskies. All right. So now this into here. Perfect. And you are going to make wire. Uh, thank you very much. Yes, so kind. Yes, so kind. So this guy should probably be filling up fairly quickly because this guy's backlogged. Uh, this is using 30 per minute again with this guy's producing probably I think this guy's producing Are you producing 60 a minute? I can't remember. I can't remember now. I think it is because look how backed up it is But uh, we need to also get our other iron stuff going. We need to get uh, Rods being made and screws being made as well. So let's go here. Oh, wow. Okay. We have some plates um, Let's go check our fuel. I think they balance the fuel a little bit better because before you were running around collecting fuel very, like all the time. It felt like it was all the time. And now it seems like the fuel lasts a pretty good while. What's our overhead right now? Uh, okay, we're okay. I'm just thinking once we get two extra smelters going, oh, we might actually have to, does this unlock? Okay, it does unlock an additional biomass burner. All right, so we might actually have to focus on this. I don't know. It depends on how the power situation goes, but uh, okay, so let's first thing this is doing that you don't have any power. So let's get you powered up as well. You can start making some wire, which is great. And I guess we'll throw it in a storage thing as well. We'll have another storage container after it. Um, again, as close as it can get. Perfect. I like it. I like to try to keep things like nice and tight, nice and tidy. Um, okay. So there's that wire is going to go in there. Perfect. And then we can actually split the wire out into into a dedicated wire storage, and we can actually split it out into uh, a cable making station. Cable making station. All right. So we need. What do we need? We need plates. We have plates. We're making plates, and we need rods. We need rods to be made as well. I don't have another. 
I don't have another thing for another contact con what is it what is it called a constructor I don't have another thing for a constructor yet I could center one right here ish but then I have to sneak a belt past it I don't know that I necessarily want to do that I'm thinking about just having the belts run out here and do what I don't know this tree is in the way though I really need to get the chainsaw so we get that tree out of the way huh I can't get that yet either maybe we're gonna have to focus on this hub upgrade because we're gonna I need to start getting some of the logistic things um 150 rods I kind of wish I could get that automated not gonna lie let's uh let's try to do that let's get a constructor to make rods what do rods take rods just take oh rods just take okay perfect yeah uh of course that'll work so I need reinforced iron plates. I think I just need screws. Perfect. Three of these bad boys. Two and three. I think that's actually, is that really all I needed? Was it, was it that easy? Uh, constructor. Okay, so yeah, see it's, there's not gonna be enough room to get a belt pass there. So we're gonna have to bring it out here. We are going to have to bring it out here. Um, I'm thinking maybe uh, i'm thinking maybe like right here what which one are you trying to connect to all right i think we're gonna have to just we'll just put it right here for now as good as it's gonna get it's as good as it's gonna get <laughs> it's as good as it's gonna get uh all right so we'll have you go to here and then i'm gonna need power as well you to here and then you are gonna make iron rods. And then I need to get a uh, a guy hooked up to this. Ooh, we're gonna start powering these drills too. I don't know if we're gonna have enough power for all this right now. I think we'll be okay. All right, so there's that. And then where is, do I have a power pole that's free? I have this one. Uh, let's go ahead, let's throw another pole in right here. Just because if we wanna expand off of it, I don't want to be limited and all that fun stuff. So boom. Boom. All right, let's see. How How's our power situation now? Not terrible. It's gonna go up, I think, a hair more, but I think it'll be okay. How much are you producing? Uh, 60 per minute. Okay, so it's gonna be overproducing as well. But this should go into here. You are gonna make iron ingots, and you're gonna go down to here, and you're going to turn them into rods, and then... I guess we'll build another storage container. Do I have the stuff for it? I do not have this stuff for it. I need more iron rods. I guess we'll wait for that to get making, making the iron rods. Um, all right, perfect. So I'm gonna actually hook up this one as well. We're just not gonna fire it up yet. We're just not gonna fire it up until it's like actually ready to, uh, until we're actually ready to do something with it. Because this one's probably gonna make rods as well, but it's probably gonna make rods and screws. Uh, yeah, it's probably gonna make rods and screws. And eventually I want all, the, you know, most of the stuff, iron stuff to run into one storage. Um, well, maybe not, maybe not. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. But, uh, yeah, look at that. I hate this tree. <laughs> I absolutely hate that tree. Uh, okay. Next order of business. Um, you know what? We're not gonna be able to do that. We're not gonna be able to power that without blowing some fuses. So let's just make some concrete by hand fill that requirement let's uh let's get our hub upgraded that's what we need to do let's just upgrade the hub got you um rods plates so i need plates rods and wire plates rods and wire okay that should not be an issue so we have in here we have plates in here we are going to have rods we have 11 Currently. Actually, let's go ahead and make the storage unit for this whilst we can. Whilst we can. All right. And then again, as close as possible. Perfect. And then you from there to there. All right. I like it. That way, nothing stops just because it's like full. I don't like that. I know people are probably like, oh, why do you have so many storage units? You don't need that many. I like the buffers. I like the buffers. That way, nothing has to stop. Like this guy doesn't have to stop because this is being too slow because it has a buffer zone for a while. And then this doesn't have to stop because it's going to keep feeding this and same, you know, same so forth and so on. Um, I probably should have put a buffer in here, but oh, uh, well, um, no, I shouldn't because this one can only make 30 per minute anyways. So, uh, yeah. All right. Well, we're going to need the rods. 
and we're going to need the wire. Let's see how the wires are. Wires are usually pretty quick because it, it, I think one thing makes, yeah, see one copper ingot makes what five. So it's like a, it's a five to one ratio. That's <laughs> it's insanely fast, insanely fast, but let's see what we need now. Okay. So, um, boop and boop and boop. Okay. Perfect. So all I really need is the copper wire and the rods, uh, copper wire. I can, I can even just make that real quick. That won't take very long. Cause what we need 160, 157 total. That's not terrible. I think we'll be able to do that. No problemo. Boom. No. Right. How's that? But how many did I even make? 153? No, darn it. Uh, okay. We're good. We are good. Okay, so we're just waiting on the rods. Just waiting on the rods. Alrighty, we have enough rods. We have enough rods to get to the level five. Oh, this is gonna be great. Okay, here it is. Da -da 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 -da. We did it. Hub upgrade five. Milestone unlocked. And now we also have this guy, so we can research some stuff. Actually, do I have anything that I can research right away? Hailberries. Absolutely. Machine, also known as the MAM. Yep. Building biomass burner. Building space elevator. Yes. Equipment object scanner. Yes. Equipment beacon. Awesome. I love it. I message. Congratulations. You succeeded in every. Thank you. Task. All right. Cool. So now we have uh, tier one, tier two unlocked immediately for us to get tier three and four. We have to build the space elevator and do that stuff. But tier one logistics splitter merger. That is what we need. 200 plates, 200 rods, 500 wire that needs to happen because those are like huge deals but then other things uh utility we have biofuel that's a huge deal as well so we'll get into that um we'll probably get into that after we get into this i think um yeah we'll get into that after that personal storage we get a personal storage box and five more inventory slots and then we start getting conveyor walls uh tier two i'm just seeing if there's anything new uh we got the assembler the rotor the modular frame, obstacle clearance, chainsaw. There's the chainsaw. Um, jump pads and some walkways. These other ones can't even see them yet because we got to make the we have to make the uh, space elevator. So one thing we need to do, we definitely need to get that powered because we're going to start using a lot of concrete because we're also going to start putting foundations down. So uh, everything looks nice and clean, um, but I need I need a biomass burner. We need that because we're going to need the extra power right away. Right away, going to have to have that. Um, I have seven. You know what? Let's actually just, I'm going to make some concrete as well. I can only make 10. Ugh. See, we're going to need a boatload of concrete. Boatload of concrete. So uh, let's just put, uh, let's just put the biomass burner down for now. Uh, we'll put you right there like that. That'll give us uh, some additional power. Are you fully maxed out? You are fully maxed out. Go figure one, two, three. Okay. That one we could, we can attach it there. So I'll put you to there. And then do I even have any fuel? I don't think I have any fuel for this guy yet. <laughs> Darn it. How are these rutted? Uh, they still have 195. Okay. So see now it's, now it's becoming an issue. Now it's becoming an issue. So we definitely need to get the biofuel upgrade. Maybe we'll do that first, because if we don't have power for everything, then there's no reason. You know what I mean? Because we're, we're going to need to turn stuff into biofuel. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I think we're going to. Oh, you know what? I don't think I can select it now. I think I already selected the other one. Yeah, I don't know if we can do that. So I'm going to run around. I'm going to grab some more fuel and we're going to fire up the other one. And then we're going to go start making our concrete little area. Um, we could turn that into a concrete area, but we already have the miner at the other one and power ran over to it anyways. And I'll kind of keep it separate away from the base. So there's really nothing wrong with that. All right. We got some biomass. Uh, let's go ahead and throw 200 in that one, 158 in that one, and then 50 more in this one. That'll give us plenty more power to get some things a rocking and a rolling. How much do I have? Do I have enough for a, Oh, you know what? We're going to need a constructor. Again, that means I'm going to need another uh, reinforced plate, reinforced iron plate. I need more screws. I can make one. How fantastic. Let's go see if we have more rods. Um, I guess I'll take that plate too. We're going to need it for conveyor stuff and more of those. Hey, yo, look at that. 
we we completed the analysis for the berries the berries have been analyzed and i believe now they can uh, we can search for them Diapra berries or pale berries yeah can be added to the object scanner catalog after unlocking the new blueprint in hub tier one awesome awesome so we can unlock a we can unlock that guy uh let's go ahead and do flower petals as well perfect i think that gives us the color gun which we're actually gonna start coloring stuff this time you bet we are absolutely okay so i needed screws let's go and make some screws and a couple more plates perfect that's all we need and storage actually yeah we should be good all right so we're gonna get up set up our little our little concrete factory oh it's gonna be so cute and it's gonna be over here i'm gonna try to keep it all nice and tidy uh for now and then we'll have to redesign it once i have more concrete but that's just the name of the game that is the name of the game okay so you are gonna go actually how much are you gonna produce is this impure so how much are you gonna produce 30 per minute okay that's actually perfect so you can run directly into a constructor. Uh, oh no, I'm missing cable. All right, now we got the cable. Constructor, nope, just constructor. Um, you should go this way. <laughs> so you're gonna go there. And then can we actually throw a, I'm trying to keep this like super compact and organized. I wonder if I can have it like right here. Uh, right here. Let's bring it over just a hair. Can I bring it? Uh, right there. Perfect. Okay, so we'll do that. Conveyor from here to there. Should be going this way. Okay, cool. I just want to make sure like it didn't mess up and go the wrong way. Uh, oh, hey, there's a ladder there. <laughs> All right, and then you are gonna go straight into there. You are going to make concrete just like that. Wham bam one and done and that's it that's my concrete factory like that's 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 all we need that is all we need so a one and a two and that's it you're gonna start making the limestone oh it does say it does say limestone still that's gonna go out in there that's gonna go in there concrete's gonna pour into this guy fantastic because that we're gonna need that for uh placing foundations and stuff because eventually we're gonna cover this whole place in foundations well a, a large area a large area in foundations and uh, just to make it look nice and maybe even, you know, get a couple stories up or something. I have no idea. But now we have everything running. Let's go check our power usage once again to make sure we're within. Okay, we are within. We are within. But goodness, we are we are draining that power super fast. Very fast indeed. So I did switch my research selection to uh, utility so we can get the biofuel. I think that's going to be kind of a big deal. And uh, it's going to help us out by not having to get fuel quite as often quite as often anyways so uh yeah we're just kind of waiting waiting for the rest of these resources i could make it myself uh how many more plates do i need okay so we'll just take all the plates how many more rods uh we'll take all the rods <laughs> how much more copper wire uh oh look at that a full stack a full stack of 500 copper wire done skis i like it i like it hey yo flower petals has been completed let's go ahead and check that out i think we're gonna get a color gun now paint gun wishes me to tell you these color uh, are useful for two things color cartridges creating color <laughs> cartridges. mandatory, mandatory reminder you're under 24 7 surveillance, surveillance. <laughs> what the blueprint what? is now accessible in hub tier two what why does it need to tell me i'm in i'm in a hundred like <laughs> i don't even understand that oh my gosh all right let's start this one now that's funny. Why why are you reminding me I'm under 24 hour 24 7 surveillance? Like I, I understand that. Thank you. Oh thank you. I, I appreciate that. Um okay, currently capacity is 60 megawatts. Alright, cool. I cannot wait to get to the coal stuff. That is a, a ways off though. Um oh look at that. We got our concrete being made. Let's go see how much concrete we have. We're almost we're almost good on the rods as well, and then I'll unlock the biofuel. So actually, I probably should. Why don't I'm gonna go start collecting stuff, so we can start making biofuel, because um, that'll be like super handy. Alrighty. So after a little five-minute collecting spree, I'm pretty sure we're probably good to go. I'm pretty. Oh wait, they're right here. Yeah, perfect. 82. Um, I collected. Well, we got a little over almost 1,500 leaves, and 100 uh, wood. So we should be able to make a decent amount of biofuel to keep our place up and running tip top ship shape whatever you want to call it all right so let's get you let's do that 
Go ahead and launch. Oh, you got to check this out. This thing is hilarious. Look at this. Milestone reached. All right. We have unlocked several structures aimed to Go for it. Go for it. Let's see if it's still uh, <laughs> uh shuttle blueprint will ensure improved fuel consumption <laughs> Shuttle, I think you're drunk. <laughs> Go home shuttle. Oh, that's pretty cool. Your contribution to project assembly. Uh Alrighty. Cool. So, now we have biofuel right there. Boom, which takes uh, biomass. So now I can convert all this biomass or the, the leaves and the wood into biomass and then all the biomass into biofuel and it'll last a lot longer, but we'll still have to go and get it every now and then. It's not like, it's not like this is the end all be all. No, that's, that's coal power. Coal power is pretty much the end all be all. All righty. Look at that. We got two, four, six, almost 700 biofuel now. So we can go ahead and swap these guys out with biofuel. Uh, we can go ahead and do this. Boom. Switch over. Boom. Switch over. And you can see it's about, it, I think it's about twice as long burn rate. Uh, no, I don't want that. I want the 200. So let's see. Okay. So 15 seconds, 20 megawatts for 15 seconds. Uh, how about a U? Oh, it probably switched when I switched. Okay. Anyways. So yeah, there. Now we have fuel. Yes, we have fuel. We did it. We did it. Milestone we got the fuel. Exchange concluded. Fixed oh, freighter re-entry complete. Oh, oh, it came back. Oh, we missed it. I wanted to see it land. Darn it. Okay. So, uh, yeah, we did that. We did that. Now we finished this guy. So now we have the object scanner stuff. This is when you research an item, it brings over here, gives you a thing that says, oh, now you can scan a berry. You have to unlock it. So it costs two berries to do that easy enough. And then same with the color gun. Oh, the color gun actually requires stuff. So. We'll have to get into this as well. Necessary to change the color of the factory buildings and vehicles. So we'll definitely get into those as well in the future. But uh, logistics is definitely next. So we can get the conveyor merger and the splitter. The conveyor splitter and the merger. Um, all right. So we still only have, oh, I guess we have, we have two of the three iron deals going. That's not terrible. Not terrible by any means, but, um, yeah, I think that's actually going to end this episode, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to leave a like. If you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe as well for some more. Again, links to everything down below if you guys are interested in the game. I have a link down below to the Epic Game Store where you can check this out. It's 30 bucks. And uh, yeah, there's there's definitely a lot to do in it. Lots to do in it, even as early access. It runs great. Uh, nothing too buggy. I haven't ran into too many issues. But um, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed. I'll see you in the next one.